All right, guys, welcome to Hanson Speed Shop for another custom Hot Wheels build. Before we get started here today, I'd just like to remind everybody who isn't already a subscriber, if you're not, you're missing out, hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the cool stuff that we're doing here at Hanson Speed Shop. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, today we're going to be doing a Hot Wheels 41 Wheelies. I've done a number of these over the years. I really love 41 Wheelies. Um, and, and if you know, I love gassers. So yes, we're going to be doing another 41 Willys gasser because that is pretty much like the ultimate gasser. Um, this thing comes from Hot Wheels with kind of a street rod look, which I'm really not a big fan of that style. Um, it's not that it's bad looking. I just, that's not really my style. Um, so we're going to take this thing from kind of a pro street street rod look and do it up as a really cool kind of mid to late 60s style gasser. Um, so we're going to give it a straight axle up front. We're going to have to alter the back of the stance to get the wheels just like how I like them. Um, we're going to also give this thing some cool fender wall headers, a really nice paint job on this one. Um, and lots of cool detailing. So this should be a really cool car. Um, I'm going to do this thing up a little bit different than um, the past few wheelies that I've done. I think I I did one um, as a replica of the car from the movie um, Hot Rod. And that car was primered. And then I did a really nice kind of early 60s style one. And that was a, like a light metallic green. Both of those videos are on the channel if you want to go check them out. Um, but the next step is going to be to get this car drilled apart and then we'll get her stripped and then kind of start mocking it up so you guys can see what I'm talking about as far as what we're going to do to turn this thing into a really cool gasser. So uh, we'll see you on the next step. All right, guys, so we got the wheelies torn apart. And if you're wondering where the body is, I actually went ahead and already painted that. Um... You might ask, why did I do that already? Well, um, I really wasn't planning on doing any modifying on the body, and I was painting some other cars, so I like to sometimes just do a lot of painting all at once. Um, I got the body already painted. I'm not going to show it to you guys yet, um, but it came out looking really nice. Um, we're going to be doing this thing, like I talked about, as kind of a late 60s um, style gasser. Um, I haven't decided yet 100% if we're going to kind of do this as like a tribute to a gasser um, from the 60s or just kind of have it be inspired by some willies that I like from the 60s. Um, but basically what we do have left to do, um, the body's painted, it's going to need some detailing yet, but uh, the paint and body work and all that's done on, on the body. We have to do the whole chassis yet. So on these wheelies, they got a pretty neat little interior with um, a roll, full wraparound roll bar um, and just a scoop, no engine. Um, here's our chassis um, and windows. Um, so we're going to obviously have to do a straight axle up front. The, the wheels that um, I'm going to be running on here are coming in the mail, so I don't have them yet to show you. But um, they're basically the standard um, gasser wheels is what I'm planning on running on these from Hot Wheels. Those are my favorite to run on gassers. Uh, it's just they look good on anything you're doing as a gasser. Um, these are from retro red lines on ebay and they're a 3d printed uh, ladder bar with a wheelie bar on the back and you can get these from him um i'm not planning on running the wheelie bar so we'll cut the wheelie bars off i i've used these before on a uh 58 plymouth t-bird that i did up as kind of a 70 street freak so we're going to be using these ladder bars um i think that's going to look really cool in here um to do these willies as a gasser and to get the back just right you really got to do a lot of work and uh, back in here to get the axle just right um and get the stance just right like on my basically both willies that i've done as gassers pretty much had to cut this whole thing in half get the axle where i needed and then put it back together hopefully i won't have to do that again on this one but it seemed like on both of them um you end up cutting so far down to get the axle to sit right because this car is so slammed uh, from the factory that you want you got to go the opposite direction and you basically almost pretty much 
end up cutting the back of the car in half um, to do that. So we'll see how that works out. Um, but I'm already kind of planning on that's what what's going to have to happen. We're also going to be doing a cool set of fender wheel headers for this thing. But either way, this thing's coming along really good and it should be super cool. Um, so we'll take another look at it basically once I get the chassis done. Alright guys, so this is going to be the last time we take a look at our Willys Gasser project here before the final unveil. Uh, we've made a lot of progress on this thing, on the chassis especially. Uh, before I get into what I've all done on that, I just want to confirm that I am kind of doing this as a tribute to the Stonewoods and Cook Gassers of the 60s, uh, which should be pretty cool. I'm not doing a exact replica of any one of their cars but just kind of have this be a tribute to a stone woods and cook gasser um, i got the body painted a nice metallic blue color which should look really awesome um, but a lot of work went into making this chassis um, work to make this thing into a gasser because as you've seen in the beginning of the video these uh, 41 wheelies come from Hot Wheels. It's kind of a street rod look. The car's real low, and the back tires are kind of tubbed into the body, uh, which is like the complete opposite of what we're going with. Um, so here's a look at the chassis. It's upside down. Um, first thing you're going to notice are these ladder bars, which are super cool. Those are 3D printed ladder bars, and those are provided um, by Retro Red Lines. Um, they originally had like a wheelie bar on the back of them and I cut that off just because it didn't really go with the look. Um, kind of, I'm kind of trying to make this like a period 60s style gasser and they didn't run those style wheelie bars in the 60s. Um, had to make a custom axle for the back. Uh, these are actually Matchbox um, Real Rider wheels in the back. They look almost exactly like the Hot Wheels version um that you'd find like on a 55 chevy gasser or something like that uh, but the the diameter of the tire is slightly shorter which is actually perfect um for this project because normally when i've done these willies gassers i had to re-radius the rear wheel opening on the back fenders to get the tires to fit these are just a little bit shorter diameter and I didn't have to do any modifying on the body, but what you do have to do um, is cut down where the axle will go as far down um, as you can get the axle to go. Then out front, um, I trimmed out um, the inner fender um, on both sides, and then we made a straight axle up front out of a piece of aluminum tubing, and those are Hot Wheels. Um, real skinny little five-spoke rear rider wheels up front. Um, and then uh, the push bar on the back was sourced off a of Hot Wheels Pass and Gasser. Trimmed that out and then glued that on. That looks really awesome. That worked out really good. Um, and then I detailed the whole chassis out in a sat black, um, including the oil pan. The transmission was done in flat aluminum. And the ladder bars were done in chrome. Things are going to sit really awesome. Um, rolls really nice so this should be a really cool um, chassis for our car here's a look at the interior um, i just basically detailed the seats out in sat black kind of detailed the buckles on the seat belts uh, the floor is done in a flat aluminum and then the dash and steering wheels uh, just sat black and then i kind of detailed um the inner fender part or the engine what this filler piece here in satin black along with the back here it's just so when the car's upside down you look in it's going to look a little bit nicer and more finished i left the roll bar chrome but i detailed um like where the padding would be on the roll bar in a flat black and that came out looking really good um, the only things that are left to do on this project are I got to letter up the car. I'll be doing that by hand like I usually always do. 
Um, and then I'm going to make some custom fender wall headers for this thing out of some aluminum tubing. That should work out really good. But that's basically all the stuff to do on this car. I hope you guys are digging it. And we'll check it out at the final unveil. So we'll see you over at the final unveil. All right, gang. It's time for the final unveil on our 41 Wheelies Gasser. Done up as kind of a tribute to the Stonewoods and Cook Gasser. And this thing came out super cool. I couldn't be happier with it. I hope you guys dig it. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you think of it. Um, but I think I really nailed the gasser stance on this thing. It's got those sweet Hot Wheels Rear Rider wheels on it. Gave it a nice metallic blue paint job. Um, I handed the Stonewoods and Cook on the door and the little Mickey Thompson logo on the back fender. Um, the exhaust, um, I did up basically exactly like how the real car is um, with those cool headers. Um, those are sourced off, um, they're just the zoomy headers off of like a Hot Wheels 32 Ford. Um, it's got the push bar on the back that was sourced off a Hot Wheels Pass and Gasser, detailed out the taillights. Um, as you've seen prior to the final unveil, um, the interior's detailed out pretty nice. Got a straight axle up front, um, headlights and, and grill are detailed in chrome. Here's a look at the passenger side of the car. Um, just really happy with this. Happy to have it in my vintage Hot Wheels drag car and gasser collection. Um, those ladder bars, I always get a lot of questions about my ladder bars that I use. They're super cool. Um, they're actually a 3D printed uh, piece that I got from a guy off of eBay. And his seller name was Retro Redlines. Um, I've been having a little bit of trouble to try to find some more of them because when I bought these, it's like about a year ago. Um, but I did find them on eBay. Um, I have a couple more sets yet that I'm going to use on some other projects. But I'd like some more for the future. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to find some more. Because um, they are pretty nice. Um, but that is our Hot Wheels 41 Willys Gasser. I hope you guys dig it. Stick around for some more pictures of the car. Otherwise, until next time, get out working on your own projects, get those hands dirty and greasy, stay cool, and we'll catch you cats on the next one. Uh, one more thing on this car, I just forgot about it, that I did, I cut the inner fender wells out, um, and that's where I mounted the headers. Um, so that was one other modification that I had to do that I wasn't planning on doing. Uh, it just looks a lot better, and it gave room for those headers. So um, until next time, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.